You guys, you have your seatbelt on? No? So we don't wear seatbelts? Oh, what are we doing in this town? So you guys don't have a policy to wear seatbelts either? Have a good day, sir. All right. No, I'm following an IA. So that officer right there doesn't have a seatbelt on. Sergeant. Excuse me, Sergeant. Yes, sir, I heard you. Have a good day. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Open up, police. Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel in this day and age. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. If you're one of those very few people that wonder why do auditors conduct audits, this video is going to give you your answer. This is going to continue until police learn that we have rights, learn what those rights are, and learn to respect those rights. I'm not going to say much. Let's jump into this video. The uh, Albert Bo Robinson Treatment Center, Community Education Center's facility in Trenton, New Jersey. And uh, we currently have the Trenton Police Department pulling up. And, um, you know, we do have a bunch of... Uh, Constantine wire and stuff like that. Looks like we have uh, this guy coming out, and he's got a he's got somebody in his truck there. So more than likely, he's um, transporting them somewhere. But this facility uh, has a lot of Constantine wire, and um, I, I don't have any answers for you, so I'm, I'm just, excuse you? I'm on public property right now. Excuse me? I'm on public property right now. Is that illegal? Can be. It's harassment. Recording to harassment? Yes. Recording to harassment? Yes. You can't turn a constitution protected activity into uh, a okay. crime. Do you have ID on you, sir? No, I haven't committed a crime. Actually, what you're doing in front of the facility? I'm taking uh, pictures and video of matters of public interest. What's that public interest? That's all I'm going to say. Is that recording? Sure is. Excellent. Uh, awesome. Well, we got to ask you to move along. No, I'm not leaving. I'm on public property. Get a sergeant out here. Or a lieutenant. You give me illegal directives to leave. You know I'm on public property. There's um, utilities here. This is a public sidewalk, correct? So Ramos versus Flowers. I'm allowed to record police departments. Lick versus Conniff. I can record anything out in public. Did you tell Google to stop taking pictures of their facility when they flew their satellites over? Glick versus Conniffy is the case in which the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit held that a private citizen has the right to record video and audio of police carrying out their duties in a public place. And let's not forget Smith v. Cummings, which held that citizens have a First Amendment right to photograph or videotape the police because the First Amendment protects the right to gather information about what public officials do on public property. So what's the point? The point is, as a citizen, you have the right to record in public, keyword being public, and he's on a public sidewalk. Again, I'll say this. This is going to continue until cops learn what our rights are and learn to respect those rights. Or is it just me? So I'd like a sergeant out here. Yeah, no problem. I'll get one for you. Excellent. So, officers, you do have violation of uh, people parked on the sidewalk. Why don't you go give them some summonses? Uh, that's out of our jurisdiction. That's how it's Okay, so. Okay, so where where does Trenton stop? I believe this might actually be the end. Yeah. So, because you have, if you guys look, you see these light poles that are sticking this way. Those are the city of Trenton's. So the city of Trenton that goes all the way up to their uh, their fence line. Even is this a public facility or private? I believe this is a. State I think this is state. So he's he's telling me then it's private. 
which is a. I'm not 100 positive. Right. I mean, you got the Department of Corrections here, so. Right. That's why I'm thinking it is. Right. Right. Me and me too. I don't think that's the county. That's yeah, it's New Jersey uh, Department of Corrections. Would you like to speak with my sergeant, or should I just not even have him come out? Oh, you get, you're giving me directives to, to leave, or what? You can arrest I just, me. I, I'm just trying to no. figure out what you're doing here. I yeah, think. you're telling me illegal directives, so I got a problem with that. Okay, then you can speak. He's on his way. All right, cool. So we're fine now, you know right? It is posted, no trespassing. Yeah. So but if it's a state facility, I'm still allowed in there. Right, it's just open they're to they're the public. That's not that's not true. It is true. It, 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 no, it's not. They tell you to leave. You to leave. That's, so if I go to the police department, you tell me to leave, and I stay there, if I'm not committing a crime, I'm allowed to stay there. That's the law. So as long as this, if this is a public facility, even if they have no trespassing, it's still open to the public. Until I broke a law, I, I wouldn't be in violation of anything. If there's no trespassing posted, the gate's open. It's not a secure place. I'm not going on the property. But if I find out it's a public entity, I will go in there. Okay. And then if you guys do anything, I'll just I'll just see you guys again. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you give me illegal directives to, to leave. I just asked you to. I didn't demand you leave. I asked you. No, you're like move along. You like to move along. Yeah, right under color of law. That's a that's a quest. That wasn't a demand. Under color of law, you told me to move along. Well, it's an unlawful order if, if it was, but you did it under color of law, correct? Okay. And your name and badge number? There you go. You want to record it with your phone? No, no. Why don't you just okay. say it? Because I know that's your policy. There it is right there. Say it. Say it. Name and badge number. Name and badge number, officer. All right. Name and badge number? Officer Lawler, 6635. See how hard that is? Are you, sir? How are you doing, Sergeant? Right. Uh, name and badge number? Sergeant Gilly, Sergeant Police. Do you have badge number or no? 92. 92, okay. So this officer here refused to identify himself verbally, so I'd like to follow an eye on him. And he also told me to move along. Um, under the color of law, it seems like that's a, a legal thing that he's telling me to do. And obviously, I'm on public sidewalk, and it's not illegal to be on public sidewalk recording. So, I'd like to file an IA on that gentleman there for those two incidents. What are you, what are you out here for? Uh, recording matters of public interest. Public interest. Correct. This is a correctional facility, and they called mm -hmm. because you were out. There. Yeah, that's fine, but that still doesn't negate what he just did. What did he do? He told me to move along under color of law of a public sidewalk with, to me, the, the threat of arrest, even though he didn't say that. Well, and then he refused to identify himself because he, he told me to move along. On his thing. I, I let him record my name. That's not what your policy is. Your policy says you're supposed to identify yourself, not just by pointing at your titty and saying, here it is. You don't say that to a judge, right? Hey, judge, look at I'm just you still can't say his name and badge number. You did, he did, no problem. You know, ego's got to go. I'm, no, I'm doing it right now. Listen, state law is any officer at any time can take any complaint. I'm filing a complaint with you, okay, do you have right your ID? now. I don't need ID. I can do it in a second. Give okay. you my email address. Okay. So it's S04761201. At hotmail.com. So exactly where is their property line at? Um, I'm actually trying to figure that I out. I don't have it mapped out. I'm yeah, not I would have, the, we'd uh, have to go down to the city and get the, uh, the lot. 
And is there a way for you to find out if that's public property or not? If that's a public facility? Because if you if you see the you see the light poles over there next to that white truck, the way to do that would be to get the tax records. Well, that light pole is facing inside here. Why would the why would the city of Trenton be lighting up their parking lot unless it's a public property? Right. I mean, does that make sense? You'd have to ask the city that. Well, I'll just look at the the GIS survey. Yeah, that's obviously you don't have access to that right here. Mm-hmm. Facility. And this guy's demanding my ID and stuff like that. He's not a cop. Even you guys can't get my ID. I haven't broken a law. The gentleman in there? Yeah, the gentleman with the blue uh, shirt on. I mean, I haven't broken a law. You guys know that. He's like, you here, I said you did. Yeah. Right? No, I, I totally agree with it. I mean, uh, but telling me to move along. Yeah, well, I just asked you, I just asked you, yeah but under color of law, you're like, yeah, you need to move. I mean, you guys, you guys can see, uh, you know, there's no parking on the street yet, but yet these guys are uh, on the sidewalk. Can I get your name and badge number? Your name and badge number? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You guys, you have your seatbelt on? No? So we don't wear seatbelts? Oh, what are we doing in this town? So you guys don't have a policy to wear seatbelts either? Have a good day, sir. All right. No, I'm following an IA. So that officer right there doesn't have a seatbelt on. Sergeant. Excuse me, Sergeant. Yes, sir, I heard you. Have a good day. I heard you. All right, no problem. I'll do an IA on you. You just want to walk away? You got your officers here with no seatbelts on? Complaint. You got officers here with no seatbelts okay. on? Have a good day. So your policy is not to have seatbelts on? Huh? Hello? Hello? Yeah, just keep going, dude. How'd that work out for you? Yeah, there you go, seatbelt. Perfect. The link to the full video is down below. Make sure you click on it, go over to In This Day and Age, watch the video, and subscribe. Initially, these cops weren't doing too bad, with their attitude, that is. But later, their inner tyrant began to show, especially the sergeant. He became upset when it was pointed out that even his cops weren't following the law. Make sure you know your rights. So when you deal with police who don't know the law and they don't care about your rights, you can stand up for your rights. Make sure you know them. With that being said, we the People University, signing off. All right, guys, if you're looking for the perfect tool to make sure your rights are never violated, to place the law in your pocket so when you deal with tyrants, you will know what to say and what to do, head over to the Apple or the Android store and download Cancel Tyranny. Make sure you know what to do when you deal with police. Get the app today.